Hi Aries, Sun, Moon, and Ascendant. This is Dean, and I'm going to be doing your August 18th to the 24th, 2024 reading for you. Now I ask if this reading resonates with you. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It helps me out tremendously, so thank you so very much for doing so. And if you're interested in a private reading, check out my website, daneharttarot.com. I look forward to reading for you. Oh, and it's linked in the description box below. Now, before we begin this reading, let us clear the energy space, raising our own energy vibration and releasing any negativity. This cleanse and meditation will be accompanied by a loud sound. So take a nice deep breath in, exhaling whenever it feels comfortable for you. Releasing all negativity from the body like storm clouds. Letting yourself feel calm, centered, and at peace as we enter into this safe and loving space. All right, Aries. Oh, I love that singing bowl. It just feels so much tension. Just float away. Okay. So let's see here, Aries, what the tarot has to say. Angels and spirit guides, show them clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly, angels. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading. Okay. Let me make sure everything is in frame. Fantastic. All right. Now we're going to see what spirit has to say before we turn everything over and really dive into the tarot. And if you are interested in entering to receive a free reading, put a butterfly. Okay, so you have to do three things. You have to like, comment, and subscribe. In your comment, put a butterfly. That way I know that you would like to be entered to, re to receive a free reading because some people don't. So just be aware of that. After you've liked, commented, and subscribed, stay tuned. <laughs> Check in here or, or hit the bell notification because the winner will be announced every Sunday. Okay, so now let's see what spirit has to say, angels and spirit guides. Here we have magnetism reversed. Oh, okay. So it almost feels like at times that we're actually repelling what it is that we want and we can get very frustrated. We'll be like, why does this always happen to me? Why is everything so difficult? You know, and all of a sudden we, we talk in absolutes and we feel very, very upset. So being mindful about this, stepping back, giving ourselves time to calm down, giving ourselves time to look at what we really want, and then starting to ask the universe, like starting to say, where should I be? Because what you're going to see is that during this week, certain things are going to be repelled from you that you thought, oh, wow, I was supposed to be here like forever. I thought I was going to be doing this forever. I thought this was going to be like, this was going to work out really well, but it was repelled from you for a reason to open up a new door. So magne magnetism coming in it's like the magnets coming together but this is the magnets being polarized so just being aware of this is going to be super important because once you know okay you know what spirit has a bigger plan let me kind of like go with the flow see what spirit's plan is that's going to be highly beneficial so it moves us then to our chakra energy angels and spirit guides show me clearly guide this reading and show me clearly angels here we have psychic development yeah so especially developing psychically especially your third eye opening now to kind of soothe this energy we can always tap our third eye that just feels it just feels so good if you do it right now it just feels so good or if you're like you know somewhere in public and you don't want to go walking around tapping your forehead you know that makes sense too so here with the psychic development it is embracing our connection with divinity our connection with the universe and this is going to be a time for us where we're really opening up to our psychic development to ourselves to where it is that we want to be. But that also means that we feel different. We feel like we're standing out. We feel like, you know, things are 
are a bit more than we had expected. So being aware of this is going to be important because even though it's going to be very exhilarating, it can be very overwhelming as well. So being aware of this is going to be a very important thing. It moves us then to our energy to be mindful of. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly, angels. Hey, also, it was this one, right? Yeah, also this one right here. Interesting. So it's the four of swords and the four of wands. The repeat of the number four, it's all about the body. It's all about the self. You know, it is connecting within yourself, grounding yourself, the home, the four walls, the, the home of, of your soul, your body coming forward. We are not going to be resting and we're going to be really working towards a big celebration that isn't necessarily going to go the way that we had thought or we had planned. So being mindful about this is going to be super important. It also is connecting with the, with the third eye chakra, which is opening up. We're going to be getting more intense dreams, which actually, and have a deeper connection to spirit, which actually can make us like not want to go to sleep because we're learning so much. We're downloading so much that we're like, oh, you know what? That That's a little bit intense. You know, I'm just going to stay up. I, I'm good. I got this, <laughs> you know? So be aware of that as well. So let's see what spirit has to say. We are crowned with the queen of pentacles, earth sign energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We then have the wheel of fortune. We have the, the world reversed. Okay. The ace of wands. The five of pentacles reversed. That is a fantastic card to have reversed. I always love it when the five of pentacles is reversed. We have the six of wands. We have the seven of cups. We have the six of cups. We have the two of swords reversed. Interesting, interesting. We have the five of cups reversed. And we have the King of Wands. So we are represented by the wands. We come through as the King here in this reading, which is absolutely fantastic. So the King of Wands comes through. It is our fire. It is our passion. It is our tenacity. We are getting a gift from God's source spirit during this week that's really going to inspire us. It's going to help us move forward. It's going to help us look at things in a very different way than we have before. We're really connected with the past. Memories mean a lot to us. We're doing things in memory, in connection of, in, in guidance forward, and that is going to be so important. Connecting with our inner child, saying, you know what, I love doing this, or you know what, I'm making time for laughter and memories and, and joy coming in because we know that those imprint themselves on our heart. So that's going to be a very powerful thing, a very positive thing. We can also be very, very stubborn during this time. It's like, no, it has to work this way. It has to be just like this. So we have to be mindful about that. I know have to is a very harsh thing to say, but we can kind of get into a bit of a rut, a bit of a way of like, this is the way it's supposed to be. This is the way I'm supposed to move forward. And spirits, you know, again, telling us with magnetism reverse, right? I have a different plan for you. I kind of want you to take a different path. I want you to go a different way, I kind of spruce things up a little bit. So that's going to be fun. It can be frustrating too as well. So being mindful about this and being aware of this is going to be important. We are going to have a tendency to look at things and to look at the heartbreaks first, the disappointments, the angers, the upsets, and forget that there are really good things around us, that there are really pretty pretty things, beautiful things, you know, inspiring things that are guiding us forward. We need to slow down. Our world moves very, 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 very fast. And there, we're like in a swipe, you know, existence. We swipe through our phones. We swipe through, you know, picking partners. We swipe through everything it feels like. So standing in ourselves, paying attention to ourselves and slowing things down to look at the blessings because the blessings are going to be quieter. That's going to be one thing about this week. The frustrations, they're going to seem to roar like lions. But the the blessings are are soft like a cool breeze. You know when you're it's a hot day, but you have that beautiful cool breeze that comes in that almost makes you feel like you're by the ocean. So just being aware of that energy and that coming forward, it's easy to miss, but it's going to be powerful to stand in. Our dreams are coming forward as well. We're looking at things in a different way. We're embracing a different passion. We're we're seeing ourselves more openly, more honestly, but we're also bringing back the wonderment and the joy. This is going to be a week where it says, what do you dream of? Where do you want to be? 
And because psychic development is opening up, our dreams are also going to be very important to us. They're talking to us, but again, we can feel very overwhelmed by them. And we can also feel like those dreams have to be perfect, right? If you don't execute it perfectly, if everybody isn't envious of us, if everybody doesn't see it, then it doesn't count, right? Pixar didn't happen type of deal. Or like, you know, you have to wear your watch or you didn't actually work out. It's silliness. It's silliness. It doesn't have to be recorded. So embracing your energy and yourself is going to be important for you. It moves us also to this place where this week is opening up a new season in our lives, a new understanding in our existence, a new power in ourselves. And as we do so, we are crowned with prosperity, with success, with planting seeds, with growing our future, with growing what it is that we want, with opening up the door. And it becomes a time where we're not looking at, and we don't need to look at the rest of the world. Look at yourself putting one foot in front of the other. Look at yourself connecting connecting, and make sure that you connect with people. Make sure that you go out, even if it's to get a cup of coffee and sit, you know, even like a dollar coffee at McDonald's if they have that deal. And you can sit in, in, in the McDonald's just to be around people because sometimes in our world right now, we can cut ourselves off so easily. You know, everything becomes at home and that can become very isolating. So being aware of that is going to be important. It's not about how does the rest of the world see me? You know, how am I connecting with the rest of the world? It's about me being in the world, being in my world and connecting with myself. We are releasing a lot of vampiric energy and a lot of negative energy around money, around success, around prosperity, around how we view ourselves as abundant and being able to move forward in our abundance. There's going to be something from our childhood that comes forward, some sort of dream, some sort of inspiration that we're like, why not do that? Like, why not give that a try? Or I always thought that would be fun. And then as you do it, it's like, oh, I can do this. And maybe your superpower is maybe a little bit like mine. You know, I've never been a savant at anything. I mean, I think very few of us ever have, like just naturally, instantaneously gifted. But my gosh, am I doggedly stubborn. And my, my superpower, as I see it, is that I have the tenacity to stay with things. Sometimes too long. Sometimes, you know, you can overstay and be like, wow, I thought I was going to conquer this. It wasn't for me. I have to move on now. But redefining what we think success is. Tenacity, grit, gumption, you know, determination, focus, insight. To be able to move forward in something and then to be able to say, okay, you know what? maybe not going to do this. Maybe it's not going to go that way. Let's change things up. Let's look at things differently. Let's be inspired. Children look at things differently all the time. They hear words differently. They'll say, why did you say this? And they'll put a word together with another word. And you're like, wow, I didn't know that that word sounded like that. That's cool to, to come to that conclusion. Six, the repeat of the number six is also about nurturing ourselves. Five is reversed. Okay, so six is the most nurturing of all the numbers, most caring, most nurturing. So that comes through very powerfully. The repeat of the number five reverse is a freedom number. We can feel trapped. Okay, during this week, we can feel a bit trapped. We can feel a bit overwhelmed. We can question. We can seek dif deeper. We can be like, well, what about this and what about that? But it has to move forward just this way because, again, remember, we can be a bit stubborn. And our, our challenge, like our double dog dare, is going to be, can we release our stubbornness? and the way that we think it should be, and release our perfectionists and say, all right, you know what? I wanna see where the magnetism, what is repelling me, moves me forward towards and connects me with, how the magnetism works. And that's going to be a very interesting thing. It moves us then to our subconscious spirit message, which here is context, looking at things and not making instantaneous split second decisions. You know, we might know what we're going to do, but stepping back, looking at the context of it, looking at the bigger picture of it, that's going to be important. We might be very impulsive during this time, reining that in. We might be very impulsive people. And then saying, Aries, okay, I need to rein that in. I need to see me. I need to connect. It moves us then to, ooh, no, not to our tarot message that's coming. It moves us then to our chakra message, which is the solar plexus chakra. And this is personal power. And this is reversed. We're not seeing our power. We're not seeing our, our fire, our tenacity, needing to connect with our God, listening to ourselves, areas we've been poo-pooing ourselves and thinking, oh, this person knows better. Oh, this is more. Oh, this is this. Oh, this is that. No. Now it's time to listen to your God. It's time to listen to your power and move forward in it. It moves us then to our energy to be mindful of. We can get hyper fixated on very minute things, right? We could have a big project to do, a big thing to move forward in. You know, there's something that we want to do in work or in a hobby or what we 
you know, value as much as work in our lives. And we can get caught up in the small little obsessive details that are holding us back. So just be mindful that we can be too narrow-minded and, and narrowly focused. It moves us then to our subconscious tarot message, which is the magician. Again, reiterating that we are taking the gift of the ace of wands, fire, you know, tenacity, brilliance moving us forward. The magician is as above, so below. As I believe it, so it becomes subconsciously we need to connect with our mind and i know it's like well it's subconscious you know dane how do i do that consciously how do i bring the subconscious into the conscious when we tune into our thoughts okay when we tune into ourselves be like where's my mind wandering to what's coming up what am i finding myself thinking about all the time standing before the altar of our existence claiming our blessings claiming ourselves believing in ourselves really thinking that we are Wonderful is not in that narcissistic, you know, me, 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 I, I, I type of way that our world is really, really good at right now. It is in the way that says, I'm here on this planet for a reason. Even if I live a very quiet life, I live a very good life. I inspire and I move me forward and I'm connecting with those around me. And that is going to be a really beautiful thing for us, Aries. It's seeing our magic. It's seeing our power. It's seeing our tenacity. And it's bringing us forward in a way that we had forgotten. We had lost sight of. That's also going to be why our past inspires us so much. It reminds us to step into our bodies, step into ourselves, step into what we want. All right. All right, Aries. I hope this reading has resonated with you. I wish you nothing but light, love, peace, and happiness. May harmony always be with you. Oh, I'm sending loving, healing energy to each and every one of you. I love you all and stay safe. Let's end this reading with the meditation, a clearing away of negative energy, a raising of our positive energy as we embrace the power, intensity, and beauty of this time and of ourselves. And please note that this meditation and healing will be accompanied by a loud sound. So take a nice deep breath in, exhaling whenever it feels comfortable for you. May you move forward in peace and in harmony, Aries. May blessings and prosperity always be with you. I love you all. God bless. Bye.